Hello everyone. Today we will find Hamiltonian equations in different coordinate systems. You know that Lagrangian for a dynamical system is defined as L is equal to L Q1, Q2, Q3, Qk, Qn, Q1 dot, Q2 dot, Q3 dot, Qk dot, Qn dot, comma T. Or in a short form we can write it as L is equal to L Qk, Qk dot, T. Here Qk is the generalized coordinate, Qk dot is the generalized velocity and T is time. Now if we take the exact differentiation of equation number 1, then we can write it as dl is equal to sigma k. Sigma is here used for all the generalized coordinates which are in terms of the generalized coordinate and generalized velocities. So it will be written as sigma k del l over del q k d q k plus sigma k del l over del q k dot d q k dot plus del l over del t into dt. Let us say it is equation number 2. Now we know that uh, from the generalized momenta and the rate of change of the generalized momenta that pk dot is equal to del l over del q k and pk is equal to del l over del q k dot. Let us say it is equation number 3 and it is equation number 4. Now if we put the value of del L over del Q K equal to P K dot in equation number 2 and similarly value of del L over del Q K dot equal to P K in equation number 2 then we can write D L as equal to sigma K P K dot D Q K plus sigma K P K D Q K dot plus del L over del T dt let us say it is equation number 5 now you know that hamiltonian of a dynamical system is defined as h is equal to h q1 comma q2 qk qn p1 p2 pn comma t let us say it is equation number 6 here q1 q2 these are the generalized coordinates p1 p2 are the generalized momenta and t is time so if we take the exact differentiation of equation number 6 then we find that dh is equal to sigma k we can write it as del h over del q k d q k sigma is taken for all the generalized coordinates plus sigma k del h over del p k into d p k plus del h over del t into d t let us say it is equation number 7 we also know that hamiltonian is equal to uh, sigma k p k q k dot minus l now if we find the exact differentiation of this value which is given here then we can write it as d h is equal to sigma k q k dot d p k plus sigma k p k d q k dot minus d l let us say it is equation number 8 now we know that dl is equal to sigma k p k dot d q k plus sigma k p k d q k dot plus del l over del t into d t. So uh, putting this value of equation number 5 in equation number 8 then we can write d s is equal to s sigma k q k dot d p k plus sigma k p k d q k dot minus sigma k p k dot d q k minus sigma k p k d q k dot minus del l over del t into d t. Now this is a positive value and this is a negative value so it will be cancelled out. Finally we find d h is equal to sigma k q k dot d p k minus sigma k p k dot d q k minus del l over del t. Now here if we differentiate this with respect to p k then we can find here q k dot is equal to del h over del p k and if we differentiate uh, this uh, expression with respect to q k then we can find here p k dot so p k dot will be equal to minus del h over del q k and here del h over del t will be equal to minus del l over del t.
these equations are called as the Hamiltonian equation or Hamiltonian canonical equations. Thus we see here if k is from 1 to n then there will be qn first order differential equations in Hamiltonian. In Lagrangian we have the n second order differential equations. So it is easy to solve two n first order differential equations rather than n second order differential equations. Now if a coordinate say qk is cyclic then we can write del h over del qk equal to 0 as we have written in Lagrangian that there was del l over del qk equal to 0. So when del h over del qk is equal to 0 so we can write from the Hamiltonian equation it it is equal to pk dot so it will be equal to 0. It means if a coordinate is cyclic in Hamiltonian then the generalized momenta are constant of the motion. Similarly if t is not contained in L then we say del L over del t is equal to 0 and we again can say that del h over del t is equal to 0. This means h is equal to constant. Thus for a conservative system we can say that Hamiltonian is a constant and it can be written as p plus v or equal to p. Now we will find Hamiltonian equations in different coordinate system. The first system is the Cartesian coordinate system. Let us say uh, that a particle is in three dimensional space then it will have the three Cartesian coordinates and those will be x, y, z. Let us say mass of the particle is small m. Then you know that the kinetic energy of the particle will be 1 by 2 m x dot square plus y dot square plus z dot square. Here x dot represent the velocity along the x axis, y dot represent the velocity along the y axis and z dot represent the velocity along the z axis. So now potential energy of the particle is let us say vx y z it is equation number 2 now we will find the Lagrangian you know that Lagrangian is equal to t minus v t is here 1 by 2 m x dot square plus y dot square plus z dot square and v is vx y z so our Lagrangian will be 1 by 2 m x dot square plus y dot square plus z dot square minus v x y z. So in the first step we find the kinetic energy then we write the potential energy then we write the Lagrangian of the system. Now we will find the generalized momenta. Now for generalized momenta we know that pk is equal to del L over del qk dot. Here there are three coordinates so we will find here px, py and pz. So px will be equal to del L over del x dot. If we differentiate this equation with respect to x dot then we find it is equal to mx dot. So x dot will be equal to px upon m. Similarly we can find y dot and similarly we can find z dot. Now Hamiltonian for a generalized coordinate qk is written as we know that s is equal to sigma k p k q k dot minus l because here are three coordinates x y z so we will write Hamiltonian as sigma k here will represent it will represent sigma k here will represent p x x dot plus p y y dot plus p z z dot minus l so here h will be equal to p x x dot plus p y y dot plus p z z dot and we will put the value of l given earlier so h will be equal to if we put the value of x dot is p x upon m then we write p x square upon m here it will be p y square upon m here it will be p z square upon m minus 1 upon 2 into m x dot here will be written as px upon m. So 
it will be equal to here our Hamiltonian will be equal to 1 upon twice n in bracket px square plus py square plus pz square plus vxyz let us say it is equation number 4 now for Hamiltonian equations we know that for generalized coordinate qk dot is equal to del h over del pk and pk dot is equal to minus del h over del qk but here we have the three coordinates x y z so our equations will be as x dot will be equal to del h over del px or we can write x dot is equal to px upon m or we can write px dot is equal to minus del h over del x or p dot x is equal to minus del v over del x so we can write here mx double dot is equal to minus del v over del x similarly here y dot will be equal to py upon m and py dot will be minus del v over del y so we can write it as m y double dot is equal to minus del v over del y Similarly, here z dot will be equal to pz upon m and pz dot will be equal to minus del v over del z. So, here we can write mz double dot is equal to minus del v over del z. These are the force components along x, y, and z axis. So, these are the Hamiltonian equations in Cartesian coordinate system. Now Hamiltonian equations in polar coordinate system. In polar coordinate system, we know that r and theta are the polar coordinates of a particle in two dimension space. So we can write here x is equal to r cos theta and y is equal to r sin theta. x and y here are the Cartesian coordinates, r and theta are the generalized coordinates. So x dot will be equal to this value r dot cos theta minus r theta dot sin theta and y dot will be equal to r dot sin theta plus r theta dot cos theta now we can write kinetic energy as 1 by 2 m r dot square plus r square theta dot square let us say it is equation number 1 now let us say potential energy is equal to v r theta in the third step we will find the Lagrangian which is equal to T minus V and it is equal to 1 by 2 m r dot square plus r square theta dot square minus v r theta let us say it is equation number 3 now we will find the generalized moment as for r and theta and those will be del l over del r dot and it is equal to from here m r dot so we can find here r dot it is equal to p r component p theta is equal to del l over del theta dot so it will be equal to from here equation number 3 m r square theta dot so we can find theta dot and it is equal to p theta upon m r square now Hamiltonian in polar coordinates will be s is equal to p r r dot plus p theta theta dot minus 1 by 2 m r dot square plus r square theta dot square plus v r theta this is your Lagrangian and this is the term which is sigma k p k q k dot so h can be written here as 1 by 2 m p r square plus p theta square upon r square plus p r theta as we put the value of r dot and theta dot and then solve it so here now we will use the Hamiltonian equations and those are r dot is equal to del h over del pr so from here r dot will be equal to pr upon m and pr dot is equal to minus del h over del r so it will be equal to p theta square upon m r q minus del v over del r similarly for the coordinate theta theta dot will be equal to del h over del p theta or we can write theta dot is equal to p theta upon m r square and p theta dot will be equal to minus del h over del theta or we can write p theta dot is equal to minus del v over del theta thank you